Hi students, welcome to UGC e Shala. I am Dr. A. Sangamitra, Assistant Professor from Food Technology Department, Congo Engineering College. Okay, let me move on to our today's topic on high pressure processing. Consumers always prefer minimally processed foods with little or no chemical additives. Also, they prefer food product which is safe to consume and retains the nutritional and sensorial characteristics. For a product to be safe, it should be free from chemical and biological hazards. Such fruit product was conventionally produced using thermal processing methods, but it degrades the nutritional properties and alters the sensory properties such as color, flavor and taste. High pressure processing is one of the promising non-thermal techniques for food preservation that effectively inactivates the microorganisms to reduce the risk of foodborne diseases and has a very minimal effect on taste, texture or nutritional characteristics. On completion of this module, you will be able to identify the principle behind high pressure processing on inactivation of microorganisms and commercially available high pressure processing foods. First, we will look into the introduction about high pressure processing. High pressure processing also called as hydrostatic pressure processing is one of the emerging methods of food preservation techniques which allow the food to retain its original qualities while extending the shelf life of the product. This method uses pressure rather than the conventional method of heat to destroy the microorganisms. Due to the absence of heat treatment, this method is a type of cold pasteurization technique. In this method, the product to be processed is sealed in its final package or introduced into a high pressure vessel and subjected to a high isostatic pressure of 300 to 600 megapascal transmitted by water. High pressure processing is also called by other names such as hydrostatic pressure, ultra high pressure processing and pascalization. Bert Height, a scientist from West Virginia University Agricultural Experimental Station, was the first to pasteurize different food products in the late 80s. He found that high pressure could disable harmful microorganisms in foods like fruits, vegetables, milk and meat. In the early 90s, a study by W.P. Larsen demonstrated that High pressure processing killed vegetative bacteria found in food products. In most of the high pressure processing operations, the process is carried out between 400 to 600 megapascal at room temperature. Depending upon the composition of the product, due to the effect of high pressure, the temperature of the product in the pressure chamber may rise by 3 to 6 degrees Celsius for every 100 megapascal increase in pressure. The quantity of pressure applied can be visualized when two 5000 kg elephants are balanced on an 1 cm square area will produce a force of about 1000 megapascal or 10 times the pressure greater than that at the bottom of the deepest ocean. So, from the given diagram, you can visualize the different ranges of pressure zones. On moving to the principles of high pressure processing, it works on two principles such as Lee Chatelier's principle and isostatic rule. The first is Lee Chatelier's principle. It states that when a system at equilibrium is disturbed, the system responds in a way that it tends to minimize the disturbance. The applied pressure enhances the reactions leading to volume decrease. For example, reactions such as phase transition, starch gelatinization, protein denaturation, chemical reactions are accompanied by decrease in volume will be enhanced by pressure. Isostatic rule states that the pressure is instantaneously and uniformly transferred throughout the sample under pressure, whether the sample is in direct contact with the pressure medium or hermetically sealed in a flexible package that transmits pressure. Pressure is transmitted in a uniform and quasi-instantaneous manner throughout the sample independent of the size and shape of the sample. If a product contains sufficient amount of moisture, pressure will not damage the sample as long as the pressure is applied uniformly in all the directions. 
Thus, due to isostatic pressure, the food product is not collapsed during high pressure processing. Next, we will see about the packaging material suitable for high pressure processed foods. The food sample before high pressure processing must be packed. The food sample is treated together with the package and hence the produce remains safe and secure till the pack is opened by the consumer. The food sample can be packed using plastic bottles, flexible pouches, semi-rigid trays or cups with flexible lids. Vacuum packing is ideal for HPP treatment. Rigid packaging material such as glass, metal or ceramics are not used for HPP treatment. Oxygen impermeable and opaque packaging material are specialized use for HPP treated foods to retain the original color and flavor of the food. Headspace is important factor to be considered during in-package processing. Generally, Headspace is kept to a minimum in order to allow pressures inside to be reached more efficiently. Other factors needed to be considered during in-package treatment are delamination and loss of seal integrity. The packaging material should not leach the packaging chemicals into the sample. Regarding the working of industrial high pressure processing systems, there are of three types. They are batch, continuous, and semi-continuous type. Both liquid and solid food products which are pre-packed can be used in batch type system whereas continuous and semi-continuous system can be used only for liquid food products. High pressure processing system consists of pressure generation system, pressure transmitting fluid, pressure chamber and closure, temperature control device and material handling system. Different pressure medium such as silicon oil, propylene glycol, water, ethylene glycol, castor, sodium benzoate solutions were reported in literatures. But water is commercially used as the pressure medium. A pump is connected to the pressure chamber to pressurize the water. Hydrostatic pressure is applied to the food pack through its pressure medium that is water. The packed and sealed food products are immersed in the pressure medium in a pressure chamber which is completely sealed. The pressure applied varies between 300 to 600 megapascal at ambient temperature. For most of the commercial applications, products are held for 3 to 5 minutes at 600 megapascal. Once the desired pressure limit is reached, the pump is stopped and the valves are closed and the pressure can be maintained without further energy input. After the desired holding period, the pressure chamber is depressurized, pressure transmitting fluid is released and the food pack can be removed. Inactivation of microorganism is one of the main objective for the application of high pressure processing of foods. Let us discuss about the effect of high pressure on microbial inactivation. The application of pressure alters the permeability of cell membrane and disturbs the physicochemical balance of the cell. The leakage of intercellular constituents through the damaged cell membrane leads to cell death after HPP treatment. And this treatment also inhibits DNA replication and gene expression enzymes. Compared to proteins, nucleic acids are more resistant to pressure induced denaturation. Even at pressure of about 1000 MPa, the structure of nucleic acid can remain intact. But the enzymes are affected by high pressure. Hence the mechanism of DNA replication and transcription and translation into proteins are inhibited. The inhibition of protein synthesis is also caused by dissociation of ribosomes under pressure. HPP treatment inhibits the growth of microbes in food but the sensitivity of microorganisms to the pressure varies between species and strain of same species. Gram positive bacteria are more resistant to pressure than gram negative bacteria, yeast and molds. Bacterial spores are highly resistant to high hydrostatic pressures. 
Also, the sensitivity to pressure varies based on the stage of growth cycle of microorganism. For example, cells at exponential phase are more sensitive to cells at log or stationary phase of growth. The application of high pressure leads to changes in cell morphology induces biochemical reactions, denaturation of protein and key enzymes and disruption of genetic mechanisms. The extent of inactivation of microbes depend on type and number of microorganisms, magnitude and duration of treatments, temperature and composition of foods. Study shows that ready to eat meat treated at 600 megapascal pressure at 20 degrees Celsius for 180 seconds showed no changes in sensorial quality but showed a 4 log reduction in listeria monocytogens in inoculated products. Also, the HPP treatment extended the shelf life of refrigerated samples. Most type of yeast are inactivated when exposed to 300 to 400 megapascal at 25 degrees C within a few minutes whereas yeast spores needs high pressure for inactivation. Similarly, Pseudomonas fluorescence and Listeria were completely inactivated in meat products processed at pressures more than 280, 200 and 400 megapascals respectively at 20 degrees Celsius. But after a storage period of 3 to 9 days at 3 degrees Celsius, Pseudomona species were observed in the treated sample. The reason may be the organisms were not completely inactivated but stressed during the processing. In such cases, High pressure processing can be coupled with other processing methods such as moderate thermal treatment of 50 degrees Celsius. During high pressure processing treatment of foods, it has few effects on chemical composition of foods also. For example, the temperature of water increases approximately 3 degrees Celsius per 100 megapascal. The increase in temperature is higher in case of foods rich in fat content. And the effect of HPP on low molecular weight components is minimal. This can be seen in case of vitamins, pigments and flavors which remains relatively unchanged during HPP treatment compared to the thermal treatment. During HPP treatment of minced beef, pink color of meat treated at 200 to 350 megapascal turned to gray brown at 400 to 500 megapascal. This discoloration is due to globin denaturation, heme displacement or release or oxidation of ferrous myoglobin to ferric myoglobin at 400 megapascal. Regarding the effect of HPP on quality of food color, in food products such as meat, pressure induced denaturation results in changes in the physical functionalities and changes in color of the product compared to the raw meat product. The color degradation can be partly reduced by packing the meat under vacuum with an oxygen scavenger. However, the color of cooked meat is not largely affected. In case of HPP treatment of green vegetables, the color of the product showed an intense green color after treatment. This might be due to disruption of cell which resulted in leakage of chlorophyll into the intercellular spaces yielding a more intense bright green color on the vegetable surface. Such changes of color from green to olive green was observed in case of HPP treated green beans. During HPP treatment of fruit products such as mango pulp, grape juice, no significant color change was observed after treatment. But it was reported that anthocyanin pigments in HPP treated strawberries, blackcurrants were not stable during storage. This might be due to incomplete inactivation of enzymes during HPP treatment. With regard to the effect of HPP on quality of food texture, this treatment results in little or no permanent change in texture of food products which are devoid of air pockets. However, shrinkage can occur due to the distortion in the product with air voids. And this treatment improves the textural properties of foods like melting of cheese, gelation of fish gel and firmness of vegetables 
smoother and uniform textured gels are obtained in HP induced fish gels than the gels produced by heat treatment. Also, the fish gels retain the color and flavor of the original product. During the pressure holding stage of the treatment, the firmness of pure pineapple, carrot, pepper either decreased or recovered gradually when treated at 100 MPa and 200 MPa. The reason for the increased firmness is due to the activity of pectin methyl esterase. During the high pressure treatment, deesterified pectin forms a gel network with divalent ions resulting in increased hardness. When cherry tomatoes were treated up to pressure of 400 MPa, it showed a increased textural damage whereas at pressures above 400 MPa, a less damage was observed in the sample and the product resembled more like the untreated samples. Along with the extension of shelf life, HPP treatment retains the sensorial properties of majority of food products. HP treated sausages were preferred on the basis of appearance and taste compared to the thermally treated sausages. Similarly, in case of HPP treated fish fillets, the taste was not altered after treatment. But the pressures above 300 MPa produced a product with opacity similar to that of light cooked product. White grape juice was treated under pressure of 400 to 500 MPa and the color and sensory characteristics were investigated. The pressure treated juice samples remained more stable and retained the sensorial characteristic than the control juice during 60 days of storage. HPP treatment of food products provides shelf life similar to that of the thermal pasteurization. This technique kills the vegetative bacteria. The product requires refrigerated storage if the product is not acidic. HPP treatment of food extends the shelf life by 2 or 3 times compared to the non-pasteurized counterpart and improves the food safety. In order to have a processed product with minimal changes in flavor, color and texture, HPP is better option with extended shelf life. Shelf life of HPP treated products can be established based on microbiological and sensory testing. HPP treated ham and pork on storage at 4 to 6 degrees Celsius extended the shelf life of product up to 8 weeks and also the product showed a good microbiological and sensory quality. The HPP treated fruit juice lasts for about 30 to 45 days than the raw juice which lasts normally for 3 to 5 days. The major advantage of treated juice are safer product that the retail stores can keep the product on their shelf for much longer time without it going into a waste. Let us now move on to the commercial status of HPP treated foods. Japan is the first country to offer HPP treated food products. HPP treated products are also available in other international markets in Spain, France, USA. And these food products such as fruit juices, smoothies, jams, jellies, fruit purees, soups, sauces, ready to eat meat products, fish, yogurt and salad dressing are commercialized. The Food and Drug Administration and US Department of Agriculture have approved the use of high pressure processing as a post packaging pasteurization technique applicable for pasteurizing low acid food products and shelf stable high acid food products along with the corresponding guidelines and regulations. HPP treatment has both its advantages and limitations. Let us see one by one. Regarding the advantages of HPP, this treatment can be used for both solids and liquids with or without packaging. This technique is suitable for product with high moisture content. And this treatment processes raw product without significantly altering their flavor, texture or appearance. And this method is environment friendly and facilitates the package to withstand a change in volume up to 15% followed by a return to its original shape without losing the seal integrity or barrier properties. 
HPP treatment inactivates spoilage causing microorganisms, inactivates enzymes and reduces the potential for foodborn illness. This method promotes the ripening of cheese, minimizes oxidative browning and extends the shelf life of food samples. It does not alter the shape of food because the pressure is applied evenly from all sides. This method retains the freshness, texture, flavor, color and appearance of the food product. And it is highly effective against molds, bacteria and virus. HPP treatment of meat reduces the usage of salt. Under the limitations of high pressure processing, there are few points to be considered. HPP treatment is not suitable for products with encapsulated air such as bread, mushrooms and marshmallows. The capital cost of HPP setup for a commercial scale is very high compared to the conventional thermal methods. The HPP equipment requires high precision in construction. And the handling of equipment and the process is little complex. A high level of maintenance is required. And foam packaging is not suitable for HPP treated either because it is too compressed. We have now come to the end of this module. Let me summarize the points. HPP treatment is also called as hydrostatic pressure processing with pressure of 300 to 600 megapascal, which is used for food products. High pressure processing works on two principles such as Lee Chatelier principle and isostatic rule. Vacuum packing is more ideal for HPP treatment. Rigid packaging materials are not suitable for high pressure processing treatment. At high pressures, the permeability of cell membrane get alters and disturbs the physicochemical balance of the cell which inactivates the vegetative microorganisms. The pressure sensitivity of microbes varies based on type, species, strain, stage of growth cycle of microorganisms. Industrial high pressure processing systems are of batch type, continuous type and semi-continuous type. HPP treatment will increase the temperature of foods through adiabatic heating approximately 3 degrees Celsius per 100 megapascal. Hope you have got an understanding of what high pressure processing is. Thank you for your patient hearing. Happy learning. Thank you.